we were ready for launch of a satellite launch vehicle with 44 subsystem and thousands of uh, components and thousands of people are waiting for the launch mission centers and they are working throughout the country exactly at t minus 8 minutes computer took over at that time professor satish davan was the chairman atomic energy uh, space commission then at t minus 4 minutes computer put a hold it says don't launch immediately a computer print out comes out there is some problem in the second stage control system there is a leakage so you don't launch <laughs> behind me there are number of uh, experts 10 years 20 years experienced people and they tell me within a minute we believe as experts even though there is a leakage in system you can launch they asked me to launch the how to live a good life how to live a beautiful life without thinking which country you belong without thinking which religion you belong without thinking which uh, language you belong without thinking which caste you belong wherever there is indomitable spirit of man the man succeeds the woman succeeds the village succeeds the state succeeds the country succeeds the world succeeds the many of us have gone through large programs and projects we would have experienced the success is not in sight and there are many hurdles hurdles created by man hurdle created by the nature of the program hurdle created by the technology all this is possible in a major program like what wealth generation i have repeated a number of times i don't mind repeating that one incident that incident for me is a university education i have not read anywhere i have uh, so far i have gone around the orbit 71 times around the sun i have not gone through any education such a beautiful education i thought of sharing with you 1979 august 17th we were ready for launch of a satellite launch vehicle with 44 subsystem and thousands of so thousands of uh, components it was built in vikram sarabhai space center and at that time professor satish davan was the chairman atomic energy uh, space commission and he is also space center and he gave me the task in 1973 to build a satellite launch vehicle uh, to put a satellite in the orbit 1973 he gave me this task in 79 we were ready thousands of engineers 10000 of workers and staff they all worked together then we moved the satellite launch vehicle from vikram sarabhai space center uh, to the now satish davan space center at sirigari kota so, so the launch vehicle was uh, was in the in the launch pad and that day 17th august 1979 and i am the mission director project director and we are all in the control center and computer takes over up t minus 8 minutes computer will take over because very difficult for me as a mission director to check hundreds of parameters and thousands of people are waiting for the launch mission centers and they are working throughout the country and some down range stations exactly at t minus 4 minutes computer put a hold it says don't launch so we are all because at that time the whole rocket system is alive and every is yes, explosive system propellant system electronic system all are on ready to launch computer says don't launch at t minus 4 minutes then immediately a computer print out comes out there is some problem in the second stage control system there is a leakage so you don't launch <laughs> behind me there are number of uh, experts six seven experts my my uh, expert 10 years 20 years experience people i turn to them and they are their computers to find out what happened and they tell me within a within a minute they say there's a problem in the second stage control system and we cannot launch computer says but we believe as experts the the igniter the, that is oxidizer is sufficiently more there even though there's a leakage in system you can launch they asked me to launch 
that is i can say to the computer to shut off the computer i can manually launch the rocket system i took the i discussed with my experts i believed in them i agreed with them i am responsible for it i immediately put the rocket in the manual mode so rocket took off 100 seconds beautiful launch and the rocket first stage uh, did its job it's a four stage rocket system then the second stage took off within a minute within a second it we got into spin that means it should be steady it's a control rocket system by guidance system but it was going to the spin i knew i lost the rocket system within few seconds in so putting the satellite in the orbit the whole system went to bay of bengal so it was a failure and then how do you handle a failure it's very important for the entrepreneurs life is not so simple i learned uh, the one of the important thing in this programs we should know how to handle the failures particularly you are in the management environment warton it i want the young people to understand how to manage the failure because any task you do you have to come across problem problem should not become the captain of the individual or the project chief uh, the project chief should become the captain of the problems and defeat the problem and succeed so this is what i have learned my chairman that is the professor satish davan exactly 6:30 i was very tired of uh, continuously working he come to my room you join me for a press conference on that day press call in the morning there's a press conference hundreds of uh, press reporters media people have assembled just professor stavan told me satish stavan told me i am going to handle the press conference you are going to get, come with me he took me there and there was a press the national press international press they asked a lot of question how can you put 20 crores in bay of bengal one guy asked and they like that so many serious questions of course after all people will ask questions the people's money so like that number of questions were there and uh, professor satish stavan said yes it's a failure first time we have launched we have gained a lot of system and definitely we will succeed i will give the all the support to my scientists i will we will succeed in a year's time he said it means that successful leaders can never be defeated by problems they become the master of the situation and they defeat the problems now friends ex- exactly after one year that is 18th july 1980 we go to the launch pad and the countdown starts t minus 8 minutes i hand over to the computer computer checks out with the satellite in the orbit i am seeing in front of me how what is the performance taking place i took the micro i put the mic we are delighted to inform all of you that the mission 100% successful and to be congratulate you i told them now that's not the important that's one of the important things happened but after 30 minutes satish stavan called me go for press conference you conduct the press conference he said can you see the significance failure he took it the success he gave me to my team this is a great lesson it's a great lesson great lesson which no university taught me no book taught me but that one person that institution that taught me such a big lesson so i thought of sharing with you on this day finally friends i would like to convey for building a developed india what are needed to build the team for the organization and give inspiring leadership even during failures of the mission as they are not afraid of i have seen and i worked with creators of vision and mission who is that creative leader you have to ask yourself what are the qualities of the creative leader the creative leadership is exercising the task to change the traditional role from commander to coach commander to coach manager to mentor uh, from director to the delegator and and from the one he demands respect to 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 who facilitate the self respect the higher the proportion of the creative leaders in a nation 
the higher the potential of success of vision that like developed India. Now you may be asking yourself what I can do, what I will do. You know today 700 million people are in our rural areas. Unless our rural area, villages developed, the state cannot be developed and the states if cannot develop, country cannot be developed. In conclusion, reverence for life is indeed possible in real sense if a philosophical thought of reverence can be transformed into action by empowering various components of the society. When the child is empowered by the parents at various phases of growth, the child gets transformed into a responsible citizen. When a teacher is empowered with knowledge and experience, good young human beings with value system emerge. When the individual or a team is empowered with technology, transformation to higher potential for achievement is assured. When a leader or any institution empowers his or her people, leaders are born who can change the nation in multiple areas. When women are empowered, society with stability gets assured. When the political leaders of the nation empower the people through visionary policies, the prosperity of the nation is certain. When religion is empowered and becomes spiritual force, the peace and happiness will blossom in people's heart. Such an empowered stage will lead to creation of a enlightened citizen with value system. Here I suggested a solution by evolution of a enlightened human being with the combination of education with value system, religion graduating to spiritualism and visionary policies for prosperity to manage the nation of billion people with various dimensions, every aspect of life. Now we should not allow any religion or any individual fanatism to endanger our nation because nation is very important compared to any individual or any party or any, any religion. My best wishes and greetings to all of you. God bless you.